all right what's up y'all so i still gotta figure out a name to call this whole little segment but i'm gonna just get it started so the first thing i know y'all done heard about it because it's been like worldwide news or whatever but paul michael murray insert picture here <clears throat> excuse me was basically arrested outside near uh, Vice President Cam Kamala or Kamala, have you say her name, Harris's uh, mansion in D.C. He had a, a, some type of semi-automatic weapon, a whole bunch of, they said, something like they said, a whole bunch of magazines in the car that was near over on Massachusetts Avenue. This dude is 31 years old, an army vet, and they said he has like schizophrenia or something, and he was already wanted by the police. He's from somewhere in Texas or whatever, so... That's just wild. And there was a little video, I'm gonna try to insert it right here too, of him getting arrested over there by the little, uh, what the fuck is the name of? By the little observatory or whatever it's called. But yeah, like that's just wild. And he said he was gonna uh take care of his problem or some shit like that they said. I don't even got nothing to say about it. Like you already know how that go. Would have been a different story if it was a different story like shit. But yeah, that's just wild and unsafe. But he was locked up and his uh he don't got no bonds, so he got a stay in jail like shit. And yeah, like this shit happens too often. Like, don't even get me started with shit this type of shit that happens. Like y'all know. So that's that. The second story is uh, I wanna say it was like yesterday yesterday or whatever. There was a march going on down Chinatown because sometime, I guess over the weekend in Atlanta. There was like a mass murder, murdering or a mass shooting of like eight, six to eight Asian women. Let me get this right. Yeah, yeah. So it was a mass shooting or whatever in Atlanta. And it was eight people killed and six of the eight people were Asian women. So they started like marching downtown using uh, hashtags like Asian Lives Matter and don't, and, uh, what, what was the other general? Stop Asian Hate. And when I saw that, I was like, hold up, what's going on? Then I read up about it and seen about the little shooting or whatever, which is messed up. But I seen like a little mix of tweets or whatever. Like some people were saying like, okay, so some people were saying that the black community just needs to stay out of it because they don't stand with us when like the Black Lives Matter and shit stuff happens or whatever. Okay, cool. But then other people are saying it shouldn't matter right now. These people lives matter. Look, man, black lives still matter to me, and to be honest, man, that's just, I ain't even gonna talk on that, but, like, that's just them, and that's what's going on. They marching and uh, having visuals and everything. Uh, you know, Chinatown in D.C. is where, like, the Asian community is. That's where you see them the most anyways. Uh, what else? <clears throat> All the stuff y'all could read. I'm gonna leave links so y'all can read it y'all self, because I kind of just, like, sum it up. Cause I don't want to like get too deep into it, you know. We all have our views and opinions, so whatever. Oh yeah, like other little other local shit. Right now, gas is two ninety nine. Regular gas two ninety nine. Like it went down a little bit, but it went like right back up. It was like one day it was like two sixty something, then it went to like two seventy five. Then the next day that shit said two ninety nine. I'm like, damn. Twenty dollars didn't even give me a half a tank. So I, I'm waiting for that to go back down. On. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to go back down. Fuck that. Nobody wanna pay three dollars for no motherfucking gas. This ain't diesel. Also, I think this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about. I don't even drink like that, but still, it was just something interesting that I saw. They're supposed to be making a bar out of an old metro cart. So I guess that's pretty tight, you know, give you like a little retro type of feel or some shit, you know. I think it's the uh, 5000 series, which I need to Google and see which one that is. Or I could just ask my dad, is it the new Jones or the old Jones? The old Jones got the orange seats. The new Jones got the silver skinny seats. But yeah. So, all right, y'all. That's the end of this video. I'm gone.